Alright guys, welcome back to uh, Let's Play Pokemon Trading Card Game uh, 2, Great Rockets Revenge. Uh, last time we, uh, yeah, we did some stuff, I think, and uh, this time we're going to do some more stuff. Uh, take down a couple more of the Great Rocket guys, and we got a uh, some mail from Dr. Mason here, so we're just going to read that, and of course, wow, he doesn't even give us anything, what a freaking scumbag. And uh, we took down Ronald last time, too, so that's pretty exciting. I think we already did the Lightning Club. I'm trying to remember what the challenge hall. No, it doesn't look like it's doing anything. I don't know. I'm trying to remember exactly what I'm supposed to do. We'll go into the Fire Club. That's right. All these guys are kind of locked in here. Uh, apparently, we're supposed to go do something with Great Rocket. Th oh, here he is. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. So this first fight is going to be a boss fight. That's pretty exciting, right? Yeah, okay, sure. Uh, so we have a lot of normal Pokemon. I guess we'll lead with Tauros. Just because, you know, why not, right? Anyway, uh, we are going to be going second here, so that kind of blows. Uh, this guy, of course, does have the fire deck. He is a fire guy. And this Magmar is going to be tough, tough to deal with, I think. And I can't do anything until I get another energy, so I'm just going to end my turn right now. I'm not really going to do anything special. And, uh, yeah, I'll let him hit me. I'll throw down another fire energy. At this point, I'm just going to oak out, because I want to try and get something that uh, can help a brother out. We draw into a couple bills. That's great. We could also get a Pokemon Trader, which uh, we're probably going to actually use right now. We'll trade this Growlithe, get a Charmeleon up in here. And I can't do anything like that yet. I do have a potion. We'll use that on Tauros. And we'll go for our last bill here. So all in all, not a bad turn at all. And uh, we do get the extra damage there. That means that uh, we will be able to take him out on the next turn here. That's pretty awesome. He throws down a Dark Chameleon and a Tangula and uses a Professor Oak. And then just hits me with some damage. So uh, whatever, whatever. That's all good in the hood and stuff. Uh, we'll start powering up Charmander. Uh, nah, I don't want to put the Charmeleon on him yet. But I'll hit him with a stomp and kick to the face. And, uh, yeah, and it drags out one of the Pokemon that he might not have wanted. I mean, Taurus is pretty cool, because there's no real negative effect to, uh, him, uh, getting tails. Well, I mean, obviously you don't get the extra damage, but hey, whatever. Anyway, we'll throw down that fire energy on the Charmander. Uh, I am going to Gust of Wind out this execute and yeah just gonna hit this thing with a stomp and kick to the face and unfortunately I do go down to the poison damage which kinda sucks because now I have to bring in Charmander to take a hit most likely and uh, he actually confuses me here with what looks to be some sort of Pokemon power and that really blows actually so I'm just gonna switch out into Eevee I don't have any energy so I can't really do anything right now so, yeah, I do draw an energy here, so I can uh, use Eevee to do some damage. And, yeah, and I get a super energy retrieval, which, yeah, I can use that. Why not? I can get rid of these two Growlites. I don't have any use for them anymore. Get four energies back. That's huge. I can evolve. What's his face now? Go for the Pokeball here. Don't get it. Of course not. But, uh, yeah, we can finish this uh, Execute off with the... Uh, thing. That's the attack that I just did right there. That's exactly what I did. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to start powering up this Growlithe. Throw it out in the Charmander. And just hit this thing with a Tackle Attack to the face. And that's great, because I'm going to be able to survive, so I will uh, let him take me out. It kind of sucks, but oh well. Uh, I'm going to throw down another Charmeleon here, and I'm just going to use fire energy on him. I think he's weak to me, and he definitely is. That's great. I get a switch. Not a big deal, but, you know, whatever. And this thing has a 20 damaging attack. And I'll throw Magmar down. I'm going to put a fire energy on this guy, because I am going to go for the... No! No, no, no! I wanted to go for the flamethrower. Oh, that was a dumb play on my part. Well, not really a dumb play, but more so a 
uh, misclick, I guess is what I could say at this point. And then I go for a flamethrower instead of just finishing off with slash. Wow, I am really dumb sometimes. I don't understand what I'm doing half the time. But uh, he is going to finish the turn without attacking, and that's cool, because now I can hit him with a flamethrower and take down his guy. And I am into my last Pokemon here. Uh, he is going to go for the Stun Spore. Unfortunately, that's not going to work for him. Not that it would matter. I just would have evolved him anyway, because I do have an Energy Retrieval. But uh, I am just going to hit this thing with a Flamethrower and draw my last prize. And uh, yeah, that's going to be a victory over one of the bosses. So that's pretty sweet. And we do get the Team Rocket pack. And we get a Dark Arbok. And uh, yeah, that's actually pretty good. And, uh, yeah, so we get a bunch of other crap. We get another Dark Flareon. I'll probably throw that in there. And we get another good Charmander. So, uh, yeah, we also get a Fossil Pack with uh, an Electro. Darn. Hoping for something good, but... Oh, well. And then we also get the Coin Fragment, which is pretty awesome. We now just need one more Coin Fragment to finish my uh, thingy. And now Ken is also going to give us the Charmander uh, metal thing, which we're going to start using now because, uh, you know, what's it called? we got a fire deck going on. But let's make those quick changes right quizzy. Uh, we will take out that Charmander, and I do want to add in the uh, Dark Flareon, and then I can get rid of something here. Yeah, not Snorlax. We can get rid of one of the Tauruses. So that's good. And what do these guys all say? These guys are all cool, don't do anything. Okay then. Uh, let's head in here, see if there's anything I can do now. Oh, what? No, he's just trading something that I don't want. I thought this said bitch, but that actually says butch. And here's this guy again. And he just leaves. Okay, cool. Well, whatever then. Uh, so yeah, let's go check out the challenge hall really quickly, just to see if there's anything going on. And it doesn't look like there is. So I think we go to the fighting club now. Yeah, now there's people here. So we're going to duel these fighting guys and get them out of the way. Uh, so we've got a Growlithe and some other good stuff. We'll use Charmander and Growlithe and Charmander. Cool. Oh. Do get to play first, that's pretty awesome. We'll throw down that Eevee on the bench uh, and hit this thing with a Flame Tail to the face. Uh, he's not going to attach an energy to his other guy, that's awesome. And I can hit this thing with another Flame Tail to uh, the face, because that's where you want to use Flame Tail, it's definitely right into the face. And uh, he's going to go for the Fury Swipes, and uh, yeah, he's only going to do 10 damage, so that is quite awesome. Uh, I am going to just power up Growlithe some more, because why not? And he's going to go for the Fury Swipes again. Luckily, he doesn't get uh, three heads, so I'm going to be able to hit him with another 20 damage. Get a Tauros. That's kind of meh. And I'll go ahead and evolve that Eevee. And hit this thing with another Flame Tail. Yeah, that sounds good. And he is just going to take me out this time using the Bite. That's a good play on his part. Uh, yeah, so I can hit this thing with an Ember. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to do that. Oh, I'm going to have to gets card and energy. No! Oh well. Whatever. It's all good. And he is going to hit me with a bite, and so, yeah. But I do get a potion here, so that's pretty awesome. I'm just going to go for the ember again. And, uh, yeah. It's pretty sweet. And he's going to hit me with that attack. I'm not going to do anything this turn. I'm just going to evolve him and then chill out. Uh... There you go, he would have killed me, so it's a good thing I did evolve him, and this last energy will allow me to use Flamethrower, and I can take this thing out and win the game. So, first guy down. And uh, he's going to give us a beginning Pokemon pack with a Child Molester, and nothing really that good. We get another Eevee, but it's the bad Eevee. I want that other Eevee. Anyway, we'll duel Chris here. Chris looks pretty hilarious. And uh, we get the Snorlax. I don't know, I might use him. Do I have any energies? Yeah, I'll go for Snorlax. Why not? So, yeah. I'll switch him in if I need to. 
Oh, he's going to do double damage against me. All right, well, I'm not going to power up Snorlax. I'm just going to let him uh, take the hits there. I do have a bill, so I'm going to use bill. Got a Pokeball, and of course I don't get heads, so I can't really do anything this turn. just got to chill out. And uh, holy shit, all of a sudden he just KO'd me in one friggin' attack. That is nuts. And this is really bad because, yeah... Wow, this is going to be devastating. Uh, I do need to switch into Charmander here, and I am just going to go for the Flame Tail. But man, this is not looking good already. Get everything you need, and wow, two out of three, two times in a row. This is not good. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to straight up go for the charge here, and I do get it. So that's awesome. But he does have a potion, so of course he has everything he needs. And he hits me again with a 2 out of 3 heads, and I'm pretty much done at this point. So, yeah, there's kind of no point in me playing anymore, but hey, whatever. It's cool. I'll just sit here and, you know, complain. And, uh, yeah, he's, he gets a lot of heads, man. That was pretty nuts on the amount of heads that that guy got. Like, you know, you see how heads kind of win you the game. Like, if you're lucky, you you win the game. Uh, yeah, so that sucks. That really sucks, actually. Oh, well. Whatever. We'll try again here. Uh, so I get to go first this time instead of having to go second, because that kind of sucks when you have to go second, but oh well. So he hits me with a low kick. I hit him with a fire punch to the face, and yeah, I'm just going to hit him with a smog this turn. And I do get the head, so that is going to poison him, which means he will die on this uh, turn, so that's awesome. And yeah, I'm uh, looking like I'm going to die here, so that kind of blows. But uh, hey, whatever, we'll hit him with a smog. And we do get the poison again, so that's pretty awesome. And uh, he will finish me off this turn, unfortunately, but hey, whatevs. It's all good. And I do get another fire energy, and yeah, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to energy retrieval off of this switch. I get my two energies back, I'm going to evolve Charmander, and then I'm going to not do anything because he is going to die to the poison regardless. So everything worked out for the better. And yeah. Because now I can hit him with a flamethrower, take this thing out. And now he is down to uh I'm down to one prize, so that's awesome. I am going to just hit him with a flamethrower to the face, and this next turn I will be able to bring him down unless he gets a leer off, which he does not, so now all I need is a fire energy, and I got it. And this will end it. So there you go, obviously drastically different battles when uh, I'm able to get upset, or get, not upset, but get set up, and I do get a double colorless energy off of this pack, which is quite awesome. And nothing else important. Another Gust of Wind, that's pretty cool. And a beginning Pokemon pack with another Oak. That's pretty awesome. That guy was very helpful. I also get a mail, it looks like, here. And there's more things. And we get another pack from him. That's very awesome. We get a Blastoise, so if I was going to build a Water Deck, which... And a Pokemon Trader, that's pretty cool. So lots of good cards there. Let's kind of set that up really quickly. Uh, did I get any Pokemon? No, I didn't get I got trainers and other crap. We got another oak. Get rid of this potion. Uh, trainers aren't really that important right now. They're a little bit more important later on. Oh, I have another bill, too. Shoot. Get rid of this Pokeball. Get rid of two Pokeballs. And add in another double colorless. Perfect. Okay, so we need to play this last person. It is a chick. But she doesn't want to do anything, so whatevs. That's all cool and stuff. Uh, that guy doesn't do anything. That guy doesn't do anything. That person doesn't do anything. Oh, wait, I hit no. I want to trade this guy, though. Oh, and we get a cool Mewtwo. So we traded something away and get a pretty awesome-looking Mewtwo. Uh, cool. Uh, I'm not really sure now where I'm supposed to go. Uh... I know there kind of has to be another rocket guy somewhere. I'm not really 100% on where that's going to be, but yeah, I don't really know where I'm going. Maybe the science club. 
That guy said a lot of things right there. And yeah, none of this is on or anything, so I don't know if this is where I'm supposed to go. We can duel this guy though here, why not? And uh, yeah, we got a pretty crappy hand, but whatevs, it's all good, I guess. And uh, hey, we get to go first. That's always good, right? And we can charge. And uh, we do hit the charge. That's pretty sweet. And he's not going to do anything again. We do get a Pokemon Trader here, but it's kind of meh. I'm going to go for the charge again. Just hopefully get it. And I do get it, which is pretty sweet. Because, yeah. And his last Pokemon is Bulbasaur, but he does switch out. And he gets all three heads. Like, I, how many times are people going to get heads against me? I don't get it. Uh, I'm going to Pokemon Trader this Arcanine for a Charmeleon, and I'm then going to hit this thing with an Ember. And who knows, he might not get a Heads, but he's definitely getting a lot more Pokemon on the bench, so I am going to have to get all of my prizes. And he gets 5 out of 6 Heads, that's pretty good. Like, my opponents seem to get quite a bit of what they need, like, most of the time. But, uh, oh well, whatevs, not much we can do about that. And he gets a potion, so that's pretty useful for him. And this time he doesn't get uh, the advantage in heads, but, you know, it's still kind of meh. Uh, gonna blow an energy retrieval here on this Pokemon Trader, get a couple energies back, and I'm going to hit him with a Flame Tail. I figure he won't get three heads on this turn, but he's actually gonna go for just one, and he gets it! So he takes out my Charmeleon. That's really annoying. But, oh well, not much we can do about that. That is straight up just bad luck, I guess. Anyway, we're going to pull into this Venonat here, so he can't really do anything, and I'll just sit here. But he actually goes for something. I don't know what that attack was. That looked pretty terrible, whatever it was, though. And we can go for a Stomp and Kick. We do get the extra damage, so he will go down on this next turn. I can't use that attack next turn. And he actually gets it, and he disables my stomp and kick, so that really sucks. But, oh, well, what are you going to do? And he has another potion. Jesus Christ, the amount of potions are just unbelievable. Now he gets another heads and a confusion on me. But I'm able to break through it, and I get, the uh, again, 30 damage on him, but he is able to live because of that potion, so that's kind of annoying. And, uh, yeah, so we get... Charmeleon up, and hopefully don't hurt ourselves, but unfortunately we do, so yeah, I'm going to go down on this next turn. And yeah, he's getting a lot of power up going on here. He's able to get down to his last prize there. So that sucks. I've just got to play this uh, like this is my last Pokemon. And uh, he does go into Nidorino here, and it's going to hit me with a double kick to the face, and uh, yeah, it's going to do 30 damage. Uh, I can't take him out with my uh, one attack, so we're actually the first time ever we're going to get Charizard in here, go for the Fire Spin, hit that thing with a 100 damage attack, and uh, get down to our last prize card here. And he's going to need a Miracle Charizard with the massive HP pool of 120 health. And uh, yeah, all we need to do now is uh, wait one more turn to get that last Fire Energy. And that 20 damage is still not going to be enough, and uh, yeah, we're going to somehow manage to pull this off and KO him with a Fire Spin. So we get a beginning pack with a Zapdos. That's pretty interesting. Rapidash. Bunch of crap. We get another beginning pack with a Gyarados. Another Oak. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, yeah, I guess we'll do like, we'll try and find one more battle. At least try and find where the hell we're supposed to go. Oh, we already have four Oaks. Okay, well, cool. So, yeah, let's uh, go somewhere then. I don't even know what the hell I'm doing half the time. Let's see. No, that's not a battle. I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like I need to go somewhere, but like I'm not really sure where. Maybe the Psychic Club. I already dueled Murray. I don't need to duel Murray again. Where haven't I gone? Somebody tell me. The Rock Club? Didn't we already do the Rock Club? I feel like we did the Rock Club already. We gotta find that last rocket. Where the hell is he? Is he in the Pokemon Dome? No, he can't be. Oh, he is here. No. This isn't him. This is like a different rocket guy that doesn't matter. Okay. Well, that's useless then. 
Maybe this person's house. He talks in English, but she doesn't. Great Rocket 2 does something. Oh, we get the grass coin. Cool. Maybe that was where we're supposed to go. So maybe he'll be in the grass gym now. Let's go take a look. There he is. Man, I'm so good. Damn, this guy looks pretty tough, though. So this is like the final boss of this, at least, area. not the final boss, but the final boss of this area. So hopefully we can bring him down here, and uh, yeah. So I do get to go first, which is pretty sweet. But yeah, so we've got a couple bills. And yeah, we'll obviously use those right away. We get an Eevee, put that on the bench. And uh, yeah, so we'll hit this thing with an Ember 2, the face. And he's going to hit me with a tackle. That kind of blows. Hit this thing with another scratch to the face. And he's going to hit me with another tackle. That's right, to the face. Uh, we're going to evolve at this turn, if I can click on the right card. Just going to go for a slash. It'll obviously take him out. And uh, he's going to go into Onyx. And yeah, Onyx has Bind, which is pretty annoying. But we do draw into a Charizard here. And I could just take him out right now. You know what? I'm going to. I'm not even going to mess around. We're just going to go into Charizard right away. A good thing about Charizard is he does have that uh, fighting resistance because he is a uh, flying type. So that's definitely pretty awesome. Uh, I'm a little afraid of this uh, Ekans just because it does have the 20 damaging ability with a Paralyze. But luckily he doesn't score it. So I will be able to just take him out this turn. And now he's down to his last Pokemon, Diglett, who's not going to be able to do anything because uh, I am resistant to fighting. So that's going to be the match against this guy. It was pretty easy. Obviously, we got the Charizard up right away. And that made it super duper easy mode, and he is out of Pokemon. So uh, we get another Team Rocket pack. We get a Dark Charizard. Which, uh, Continuous Firewall is a really dumb attack. Uh, you have to discard a lot of cards, and you're not even guaranteed if you score any friggin' damage. It's, it's terrible. It's more coin flipping. I hate coin flipping. We get a Legendary Pack. We get another Blastoise, which is, like, I don't know, slap in the face to me, because I kind of want the, uh, what's it called? The Charizards, but, oh well. Anyway, so with that, we uh, take down the last rocket guy, and then we run into Ronald here. He's going to give us a pack just for being awesome, and uh, doesn't really have anything that great. And he's telling us a bunch of useful information, most likely. Uh, so yeah, let's head out to the challenge hall. And yeah, we're going to do the challenge hall next time, because this is finally available. So uh, yeah, next time, we'll do the challenge hall. It's, uh, it's not really... I, you can do this... Uh, I think every, like, three... I don't know. It's like every three battles or something. I don't know. It's something weird. I, I'll look it up or something and figure it out. But anyway, next time we're going to go ahead and do this. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be exciting. We'll check that mail on the next time, too. So, mm -hmm, get ready to come back. Yeah, all right. See you guys next time.